DIYing your website can be a daunting task. You may be asking yourself, what platform should you use? Do you have to learn a bunch of new tech or where do you even start? That's why when Canva rolled out their new one-page website builder, we jumped at the opportunity to start designing and it's a great option for new entrepreneurs or those who need a simple one-page website. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create a website using Canva. I'm Ashley, a graphic designer at Hotstock, the premium marketing membership for women entrepreneurs that offers thousands of stock images, stock videos, and marketing templates like the gorgeous ones I'll be using today. So stick around to see how I customize a Hotstock website template in Canva to create a website in just under 10 minutes. So let's talk a little bit about what the Canva website builder is. So this feature from Canva allows you to essentially build one page websites. So think your landing pages, event pages, newsletters, portfolios, etc. The canvas when you're designing acts like a scrolling website page. So when you add pages to your canvas, Canva will add them one under the other so you can create and visualize what would be different sections within your one page scrolling website. It also allows you to publish directly to your website using SEO friendly URLs. Free Canva users get to publish five free domains with Canva and pro users get unlimited domains or you can choose to use a pre-purchased domain from a different host, but we will get deeper into that later in our video. If you're trying to decide whether Canva is the right fit for what you wanna design, these are a few things that you should consider. This feature is ideal for one page landing pages, not designing entire websites. So whether that's your home page, your services page portfolio, or even this is a great option if you need a landing page for a promo or a free download, then this will be something that you will want to use. But if you're creating an entire website where connectivity between the different pages is important, then this isn't going to be the feature that you'd want to use. Also, Canva is an extremely easy platform to learn to design with, so creating a website is also pretty intuitive. You have a lot more control over where you can place elements than if you were to design directly inside website platforms which is super awesome also templates you don't have to worry about starting from scratch so today I'm using a beautifully designed website template from the hotstock library but Campbell also offers templates as well that you can customize this feature automatically creates designs that are responsive across all platforms mobile tablet and your desktop so you don't have to worry about designing separate designs for each device Although if you are someone who prefers to have the freedom to tweak elements on different devices, then Canva may not be the best fit for you as it automatically creates all designs based on your desktop design and you don't really have a lot of control over that. And then lastly, if you're designing a website with multiple team members, then Canva is going to be a great option because you can leave comments, assign tasks, and allow multiple people to collaborate on one design. Okay, now let's jump into the fun part where I show you how to create a website in under 10 minutes using the Canva Builder. First, you want to either open up your template or a new website canvas. I'm gonna use a website template from the Hotstock library. And now that you've got your layout all in front of you, you can start customizing or building from scratch. I'm gonna start customizing by swapping out all of the fonts for my brand fonts. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just add all of the copy that I want. Also make sure that you're adding any call to actions that you need on your website. And then once your text is finished, I'm gonna go ahead and update the imagery to fit my brand, and then also update any of the colors to either match the images or my brand colors. Then I'll finish up the header section by moving the placement of my text and then adding some more images. Again, you can freely add, delete, or move any of the elements in the templates to make sure that they're gonna work for you. You can also add new blank pages by clicking here and then here for deleting pages and here to duplicate any page within your design. And if you need to adjust the sizing of any of the sections, then all you have to do is click and drag here. 
And now I can just continue the process of updating the sections like I did the header. I would recommend having your copy and sections of your website already mapped out before you design, maybe in a Google Doc, so you can have an action plan and then you're just really focusing on the designing. These websites are great because you can start playing around with sections that you like the layout of, and then you can go ahead and add and delete whatever doesn't work, but it definitely beats having to start from scratch any day. When you're mapping out a one page website, remember that you're taking your visitors through a story from start to finish as they scroll from top to bottom. So make sure that you're keeping this in mind when you're ordering the different sections of your website. So for example, you want to introduce yourself and what you can do for your clients before you suggest booking a consultation with you. So the consultation part, of course, would want to be at the bottom of your website and your about you is going to be closer to the top. If you're overlaying text on top of a busy stock photo, then putting a colored background behind it and then turning down the opacity is a hack to make sure that your text is always going to stand out and is legible. A great way to add breathing room to your website designs is to pop in some testimonial quotes or vision statements that are going to be short and sweet. These just help break up the information in your website in the other sections that maybe can feel a little bit more text heavy or overly salesy. And of course, if you have any free offers, services, or resources, these are great things to highlight right on your website. Giving them their own section really gets it to stand out and it also makes it more engaging to your viewers, meaning that they'll be more likely to engage with it and click on any links that you have featured. Once I'm done designing, I can click this button to preview what my website will look like in action. And then I can also choose to view it on a different platform. So I could choose mobile and it'll show me what it'll look like for people viewing on their phone. And then next you'll wanna name your pages for navigation purposes, which you can do by clicking on this icon here. You'll see a number and then a corresponding name or it might be blank. But here it's important to name it if you want people to be able to jump to that section on your page. So for example, you may want people to be able to jump right to your services through your navigation bar, which we'll go over later, but that's why it's super important to name your pages at this point. Now that you've named your pages, you'll wanna add all your links. So to do that, highlight your call to actions or whatever copy it is that you want to be linked and then select the chain icon. Here you can choose to link either to an external link or choose one of the sections on your website to jump to. And then lastly, you can choose whether or not you want to have your navigation bar visible. So to do that, go back to that preview button and select the option that you want from the drop down menu. And the preview will reflect your choice and let you see how it's going to look when it's live. And then you can decide which one that you like best. And that's it. You're ready to publish with a professional looking website that you quickly created and you can go ahead and hit publish and then choose one of the three options. So the first option is you can publish with a free domain from Canva or you can choose to publish with a personalized domain that you buy through Canva. And then lastly, with a domain that you've already purchased through a different domain host. If you're choosing this option, then you just want to make sure that you're clicking on this link here to read the directions on how to set that up because it is going to be different depending on who your host is. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want more marketing, branding, and graphic design tips, make sure you click the subscribe button. Also, make sure to grab your 21 free photos and check out our video, How to Make an Editable PDF in Canva, that's clickable for more Canva tips.